Hello everyone, welcome to Python Inspired. So today what we're going to study is what are the basic data types that are used in Python language. So first of all, before proceeding, let me tell you something uh, that this symbol of uh, hash is used for commenting in Python. This is used for commenting. So you can write anything and it will not affect your code. Right. So whatever you write after writing this hash statement will be considered as comment. So it will not have any effect. This is basically for your documentation. If you want to write something down to keep your to keep it in your memory and uh, to revise sometime later so that you have easy you can easily understand the code that you have already written. So this is basically for this purpose, the commenting. Right. So okay and after that let me tell you one more thing is that this there is an a there is a command print command print statement in python and what is its function so basically what print does is just displays whatever you write inside the print so if i write print 2 so basically what it's going to do is uh, give me 2 as the answer c Right. If I write, let's suppose print uh, hello world. So it's going to give me just hello world as the answer. So basically print statement is used to display the results that the, your results are displayed in the output. There is that, that that is the basic function of the print statement. So let's proceed towards our topic. And that is what are the data types in Python, right? So first one that we're going to see is an integer. So let's suppose a is equal to two. If I write something like this, so, and I run it. So to check what is the type, you have the command in Python type. So if I write type of type of a, it will give me int. So int is an integer. Basically, what is an integer? Anything that is a number, 2, 3, 4, 5, not a decimal number, but a proper uh, whole number. If I write 45 as a, so what is the type of a? It is still int. Okay. So a proper number is an integer. After that, we have, let's suppose b equals to 0 0.5. Okay. And what is the type of b? So you're going to see that B is a float. So there is a second data, uh, data type of Python is float. In most, most programming languages, you, you will see this. Float is a number that is a decimal number, which has this decimal point in it. It is float. Okay. So this is our second data type. And if we go further, so let's say, see, I say C equals to if we want to write something in uh, write some statement so there is a data type called string so let's see what that is so let's see i've written hello world here c and what is the type of c type of c is string str means string so what is a string 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 is any statement that we can write any statement in english language that we can write that we wish to write is a string. So this is our third data type. And uh, there is one more thing. Uh, let's suppose we have this number x equals to uh, 50.4. Let's suppose, and basically we know this is an this is a float, right? And what if I want to convert it into an integer? So there is a technique that we can change the types, data types. Uh, let's suppose I want so. I will say y equals to int of x. So what this will do is convert this number x into an integer y. So let's see. So if I say print y, so print y means it will display what is the value of y. So when I run it, so you see it is 50, right? So the float number that was 50.4, which was x has now been converted to 50 which is an integer. So there is an important thing. Uh, let's run it again. If I write 50.9 and I say uh, y is int of x, like 
integer what is an integer of this so when it is converted to integer it is still 50 so it is not round off it will always take the lowest value the lowest whole number value that was 50 so that was taken right so these were the three basic data types now let's see what is a boolean boolean is true or false if i say x is equal to let's suppose true right or i say y equals to false okay so so if i write what is type of x so what you will see here is type of x is bool so boolean is boolean is basically a logical value it can be true or it can be false nothing else if something is true the true itself is a boolean we call it just like we said 50 is an integer so true is a boolean right and there is one little thing that is very technical here that if you convert like if i say r is equal to int of x now right so x was true and i have converted into integer and if i say print r so what it's going to do is going to give me one so integer value of true is one and integer value of false is zero if you want to do this here you can just change this to y and when you write it similarly if i change the y and i run it and when i print r so r is zero so false the value of the integer value of the false is zero and integer value of true is one this is also very technical thing that you should keep in mind okay great after that what we are going to see is a list so let's suppose i say l equals to remember these uh, square brackets whenever there are square brackets it is a list list is a collection of objects it can be 1 comma 45.5 so there was the first was integer then there was float there can be anything you can put anything in it uh, you can also put an integer uh, string here so collection of objects that simply list so if you write like first of all if you want to print you will do print l so it will give you this list okay and if you say what is the type of l so you're going to see the type of l is list so list is just a collection of objects right okay similarly there is another thing called tuple t u p l e tuple basically tuple is also a collection of objects instead of uh, square brackets we have normal brackets 1.4.5 we can say and we can say and right so this is tuple okay okay so if you want to like what is the type of tuple so you're going to see it's a tuple so tuple is basically it is also a collection of objects a collection of different data types right so what is the difference between list and a tuple that we will see later that is not required at this stage it is a little bit complex what is the difference between list and tuple and there is one final data type called dictionary dictionary is a collection of objects where we have pairs in list we do uh, there was no pairs there was simply list there was collection of objects in dictionary we have pairs like if i say one and that is paired with paired with and comma and two that is paired with uh let's say a off and three that is paired with 4.5 this is a dictionary okay so here we have pairs the first pair this one the second pair two and off and third pair three and 4.5 so how do what is the benefit of dictionary is that we can access if i write d1 so we, we i'm getting and so as i this this first the first part of this pair is called key this one is key and the second part and is value 
So when you just write you, what you have to do in accessing the dictionary, you have to use the keys. When if you write one, it will give you and. If you write let's suppose two or let's suppose three, so it will give you 4.5. So basic idea of dictionary is that you can use the keys to access their values. In list, what you have to do to access values is you do not have any keys there, right? So accessing becomes easier here in dictionary. You can use the key, any key to access any value. So that was all from this video. That was the basic data types in Python. And in the further next videos, what we are going to do is we are going to study these each of these individual data types with greater depth. Thank you everyone.